On today's video, we're going to talk about uh, sports trading cards repack companies, which this one is Pristine Marketing, or people call them Pris uh, PMI. You actually have a website. You can actually go on and look at a bunch of crap that they have on there. But uh, had to do with these little multi packs. Now I bought this ten pack of football cards. I bought it at the dollar store for obviously a fucking dollar. I already opened one of these, and it was the one that was in actually the actual thumbnail for the last video, which was the Dollar Tree crap episode, the second one. But as uh, soon as I opened it, I was kind of curious. I was like, are these reprints, or were they just repacks from buying them in bulk? And I actually found out pretty quickly that they were just repacks from buying them in bulk. And uh, I actually noticed something really, uh, really characteristic of these repacking companies. And... Uh, I have this one from the Fairfield Company. I don't know if you can, you probably can't see. I'll just stick it up right here. 75 basketball trading cards. Now I'm not gonna get into opening these unless you want me to. There's a comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to go through all of them. But uh, the biggest thing you'll notice on any of these little packs, and this is the one that I had opened, and I'm gonna make a pretty good point about this, is that uh, most of these cards that they get in these bulk lots that they repack into these, into these packages, and they are repacks. They're legitimate cards that are real are uh, generally from the very late 80s, like 88, 89 to about 94-ish. And uh, the dead giveaway to me when I opened up the other pack was uh, seeing that ProSet logo. Actually, I could probably do a video on ProSet, providing I could actually get the actual information about the company. The only thing I know about them is that they uh, started up shop in about 1989 and started printing cards in 1990. And uh, they quit doing it in 92, 93 ish. That's all I really know about them. I know that they just went out of business, but they had printed billions of cards. They were also, for the football ones, they were the most error prone cards known to man, too. They also had one of Santa Claus. Now, I'm not making that up, look that up. But uh, <clears throat> the reason why these companies can go ahead and get all these early 90s cards, late these, these really late 80s, early 90s cards, is because for each sport, they printed billions of them. I mean, billions upon billions of them. So you can go buy a whole pro set retail box. I believe you can actually still do it and find them for like 10 to $20 a box for a whole retail box, which goes to show you how they can get all these cards in bulk, have somebody open them all up, kind of mix them all together and then put them all together. Now the basketball cards, I, the pro set didn't make basketball cards if I remember right. I think they made some PGA cards and they also made uh, they 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 made, they made hockey, football, and I think some, yeah, I think some golf cards and stuff, and a couple other random things. Then they went belly up because that market was flooded. So all this unsold stock now in that seventy-five card Fairfield basketball card box. There's a Panini pack with five cards in it and for the 2015-16 series, and them cards that are in there would probably be worth more than. Uh, one of, one of the ones in there would probably be worth more than any of the other ones that I had in the box, but the, I can prove that they're reprints. Now, I really, really hope that this shows up well on the camera because this is a holographic card. I mean, one of the cards that was in there I had was also stuck together really well. But, uh, uh, let's see. Focus. You can see, you can kind of see it right there that it's all kind of scratched up and worn. Um, I think they stick these through a roller, but this one's kind of all scuffed up and worn. A lot of the ones in that Fairfield box, the corners of them are a little damaged and stuff, which tells me that they were just a bolt purchase, probably somebody's collection to put together. And actually, I don't know if this is going to show up well on camera, but the sides of them, if you notice, they're not all either white or gray. They're kind of yellowed a little bit, which tells me that they sat around for a while opened. But if you want to know that little bit of information about repacking companies, about how they can literally just go out and go buy all these cards in bulk, because people are always selling collections of relatively worthless cards and whatnot and putting them together in packs and uh, throwing, them up, uh, throwing them up on eBay. And these companies buy them, sort through them, and put them in a little box. And so do you, are, are these little boxes really worth it? I mean, that 75 cards per box uh, Fairfield company one, I only paid, I think, 5 or $6 for that at Target. I mean, I don't know what's in the little pa what's in the pack, but all the cards in there are relatively worthless. I mean, let me pick it up again. The little uh, say right there, the Charles Barkley card that I have in the front of there, it's worth about a whole eighteen cents. 
So if you're buying them for value, for like expensive cards, it says one in four contain a hint, which I'm in inclined to believe. But uh, yeah, the, these boxes, the little pack of football cards, they're worth it because it's about a way for them to make a small little profit off of purchasing all these bulk old new stock in people's collections. So uh, hopefully this video, you know, answered a few questions because nobody else on YouTube has made a video about this. Was I just rambling on? Let me know down in the comment section. Do you want to see all those all those basketball cards strung, strung out and have me try to explain who these people are poorly? I don't know. There's a comment section down below. All I know is I'm spastastic and thank you for watching. Loud techno music will play now.